Welcome back to the most professional StarCraft 2, the eight-time GSL champion, the Terran player in the red, the man, the myth, the Maru. But a bit more relatable, in the blue, across from him, the people's Terran, we have Cure. A best of five, Terran versus Terran, and possibly the most requested mirror matchup this entire year, and maybe beyond. And no, not, not the most popular category mirror matchups, but this one in particular, in high demand. So I'm going to demand highly of you by begging for likes and subscribes. And Jimmy, what are we? 1,296 1, likes on this series, on this cast, on this uh, experience. And uh, I'll cast another one. I'll probably do it anyways. But thank you for watching. Hopefully you've had a good day so far. And hopefully it's about to get just a little bit better. These two have such different styles when it comes to the game itself and TVT in general, which we can go into after watching the Reapers fire at each other like an old-timey West. Oh, well. Loses one Reaper. Cure getting the worst end of this exchange. Maru with the same amount of units is going to end up killing not one, but two Reapers to start things off. Which, a significant loss in a matchup where every single unit early on is, is quite critical. So, Maru with a small but significant... Really, Cure? Now, that's a bit cowardly. He expecting Maru to come across... Now, expecting Maru to come across the map with uh, his Reaper Hellion. He actually pulled off his command center in order to try to save the SCV. But Maru had already pulled back. Didn't want to be going up a ramp into potentially a Cyclone or any other defenses. So Cure just delayed his own command center out of the fear of Maru's units. And that fear is well-founded. But the command center not so much until now. And here we go. Well, I think this uh, actions speak louder than words, even though my words are hopefully loud enough. The best words. A lot of smart people in the YouTube comments tell me that. But Maru is aggressive all the time, no matter what. And he can get away with it because he's Maru. I mean, that's, that's kind of uh, a bit reductive, but he has a medevac. He has essentially the same unit Skier does, but with the medevac, he can maneuver them around. He takes out the scouting depot, which is mildly annoying, but it served its purpose of essentially sandbagging the attack. Pokes forward, getting extra vision with the medevac. There is a Raven Siege tank, and even a couple more. Maru literally just took whatever he had and sent it across the map here. And what he had was a couple Bereeds, a Medivac, a Cyclone, whatever Reaper Hellion was left over. He's gonna continue trying to dart in with the Medivac. But there is a Cyclone that could potent- Oh, it, really? Really? Uh, it was supposed to be more metaphorical than literal, but he's literally just rallying everything across the map. And the third command center is within range of the siege tank, which is sitting at the mineral line where that third command center wants to go, which there's some flavor of irony there. He saves the Cyclone from potential extra damage. He dodges the lock on with the medevac. He's dropping Reapers out of the... Uh, and Akira at least gets the cancel off. The fact that he built the command center in what should have been the safest location, which is literally in his main next to his command center. But Maru says, no, that's my territory. Uh, and Kira, what does that leave me? Maru just smiles. A beautiful smile. So now Maru's setting up on Kira's front lawn. Kira gonna try to break out. Scrambles one of the tanks, working his way through. Drops down an auto turret. Target fire a little off from Maru. Gonna make it difficult here to grind through. And he's just got... Okay, so he's got Vikings on the ground. The medevac's still in the air. May lose one of the Vikings, but Vikings are actually quite good. He's... Maru's Microig Medivacs, in a, in a, mic, okay. Microig Vikings in a Medivac. So the extra mechanical damage. Vikings on the ground have a significant bonus to mechanical. Because, uh, and this specific scenario where they're fighting against Hellions, Unsieged Tanks, they're actually quite solid at trading with them. Um, the Viking is not to be underestimated. I think two of them can kill an, uh, a tank, sieged or unsieged, but if they're just dueling with a tank, uh, unsieged, they probably should, uh, reconsider their options. But now Maru, he's already got a second factory on the way. 
taking us to McDonald's here. And he's already got two gases at the third base, whereas Kier, well, he's a bit more bio-curious, if you would. He's got two engineering base. He's adding his extra barracks. Scouting Cyclone, right in place for this. But, oh, but that's a tank! <laughs> I just assumed it was a Cyclone. I don't know what I... Well, I expected a Cyclone. It out pops a tank. And I think Kira was probably thinking the same. But Mario's like, well, I have a tank, so I might as well. This is such an odd fight. The Vikings are invading Kira's lands once again. The Ravens are going to try to drive them back. But slaps down the auto turret, so Maru just moves around. What? He doesn't even care. What about the Marines? He's sieging up the Liberators. He's just going to kill the Marines. Well, actually, he's just going to kill the tanks. It... The lack of respect here that Maru has. Maru's going mech, which is supposed to be the turtly defensive composition. Um, somebody should tell Maru that, well... He's gonna take out another tank, take a lot of damage onto the Vikings, but of course they can lift back up and the tanks can't aim high, nearly high enough to deal with that. So now Maru's up, 10 supply, he's sending. Well, he, he picked up the tank. Both players are scanning the same location, which kind of tells a interesting story here about how convoluted DVT can get, even this Fusion! Core! Maru, I mean, there's a chance it's for advanced ballistics, but he's ground out some space. He's got the Viking lead. He's up against Bio. It might be time to go for the big battle. Cruisers here. We'll see what Maru has in store. A second starport on the way. That isn't really a tell, but the Vikings are spotted. Drop coming in towards the natural cure. Now, the big weakness of mech is how brittle it is until you can get the composition together. And Maru doesn't have all his production up. The Vikings might be able to knock out the medevacs. The Liberators are going to grind their way through the tanks. But, oh, a bit off-center on this drop over here. But Kira found an opportunity. And Maru's in the midst of a tech switch. Vikings hit the deck. One size fits all. The tanks. Oh, my God. Whoa. Those Marines are annihilated before they get even close. Pulped before they can concentrate. And uh, the Liberator will hold and drive back the tanks. Maru ended up losing six SCVs, which means he plumps to a 10-worker lead. He's got ship, uh, well, just mech armor on the way, and the battle cruiser begins. No Yamato cannon quite yet, but... Yeah, starting one, a turret ring. The TPM begins to race. Kier going to keep on the aggression. Kier has 1-1 one, one done. He's getting his armory. There's the Yamato. And it is quite early to be going battle cruisers. Kier has... Uh, the bio army is going to have map control. There's, It's going to be very hard for Baru to get out on the map against all of these units. Because if he unsieges his tanks or he's caught... Um, oh, he's just dropping right on top. And right into the natural. Just spreads with the drop over the siege tanks. He's just gonna clear it out. And the battle cruiser may not even complete the starport. Denied here. He will get the money back for the battle cruiser as the starport is killed. Um, you're not required to cancel those. But now real economic damage and look at the supply. 148 to 111. You can't... Okay. I thought he was gonna try to like shoot. If we could shoot out the windows. Maybe next patch. More drops coming in towards the fourth base, just ignoring the planetary to take out the siege tank. And Cure is picking Maru apart right now. 150 to 111. Maru might be going battle cruisers, but he hasn't gotten there. Caduce. Both. Wait. Cure got. I. I. The people's Terran. He got a fusion core for Caduceus Reactor. Which. I love how both players have effectively, in the grand scheme of things, rushed Fusion Core for the exact opposite end of the Terran spectrum here. And it's a wide and common array of spectrums indeed. So, Kira's going to have the high regen metafax all around the map, whereas Maru is trying to get any amount of battle cruisers. The first battle cruiser pops out. And the fusion core is spotted, but Kier is taking up residence at the natural. 
He's going to be able to take down the refineries, which at this stage of the game, losing these refineries is actually a big deal. Oh my god. I, I, I love the physics on this map. We, we must always have at least one water map. Otherwise, what's the point of this game? All right. Battle cruisers get a, a slight speed buff underwater. For naval reasons. Well, the bio army is trying to take down the planetary. The battle cruiser has something to say about it, but it doesn't quite do enough damage to get through the bio and the marauders. It's not about how many men you lose, says Cure. It's about how many you have to replace them. And right now he's sitting on eight barracks. He's going up to 10, 10 barracks, the decal racks. I don't think I've seen this many barracks. Well, it's, it's rare. Especially considering Kira's only on four bases. He isn't on the uber late game 15 orbital economy. He's just going to be sending it right now. Hmm. Well, Kira might be in blue, but he's got some red army strats at the moment. As the Marines, Marines, Marauders, and Medivacs up against Maru. Our battle cruisers move to defend. But Maru can't even get his battle cruisers out on the map. He needs them back at home to defend against all of this. A single Liberator. Um, a little bit of a weird synchronized dance there, but it's like the SCVs were trying to avoid the Liberator, but the Liberator uh, juked him out. Kira actually losing some of those. Jumps the battle cruisers, but a triple drop is headed towards the main. Maru is down 70 supply. He needs desperately to hold. Battle cruisers popping out again. The armories are vulnerable. Plus two plating. One full second. All right, a whole second to spare. And Maru. The fusion core? The Marauder is doing a lot of, yeah, he's gonna get the fusion core. So Maru gets reset on his upgrades. Kira still has all these bases. Maru's scanning the natural of Kira. He's gonna see barracks that are, uh, it just completed, indicating Cure is continuing down this route. The big risk and the usual method of dealing with this is to take map control as by. Cure's done that. Check. And then go mass Sky Terror. Because it's almost impossible to outright break the battle cruisers with Marines and Marauders. Well, Marauders don't shoot up, obviously. Uh, partially because at some point the battle cruiser count gets so high you can't bring enough Marines underneath them. But secondly, well, there are much better tools, but it looks like here is says that a square peg used hard enough can fit into a round hole, and here we go. Yeah. The Marauders bashing their way through. The battle crews are doing what it can. Four battle cruisers on the other side. The Marines are chasing. Oh my! They have but and more armories. Oh. Shouldn't we be targeting the engineering bays for the mech stuff? No, the armories, Billy. But shouldn't the engineering bays be the ones for mech? Shut up, Billy! Shut up. Take your stims! Well, the Marauders have taken out the base of the natural. Maru's battle cruiser, he still has tactical jump. He jumps away. Back to the shipyard. The plating is just shrugging off the bullets. Uh, a single... Wow, that battle cruiser can chase down the Marauders as Marauders. Doesn't matter how low the HP is, Marauders aren't going to be able to shoot up. Lines up the Yamato cannons. Cure drops his Vikings down. That's not, you know, if you drop them down and then load them into the medevac at exactly the right time, I think you can dodge the Yamato cannon, but I'm pretty sure um, that's not, well, 21 kills, 30 kills, 15 kills and counting. The battle cruiser's KD ratio is off the charts right now. Now that assumes he hasn't yet lost any battle cruisers, so it's effectively infinite. Plus one ship weapons is now done for Cure. Only how many armories does Maru still doesn't have any armors? Uh, Cure keeps killing them, but the battle cruisers are just—they jump away. Still zero battle cruisers lost. 141 marines for Cure. Another base will be strafed by the cruisers. The Marauder count, 24, 44 Marines. Cure is a man of principle. Now those principles will get a lot of good men killed. But at the end of the day, 
It's not about how many you lose. But he is kind of struggling to replace them. Here. He's not adding on any star. He's building two Vikings at a time. But Kira's gonna be down to three bases. A scan from Maru actually spots that that Kira is landing another one. Got the bulk of those Marauders. Oh my god, he stims the Marines. 3-3 three, three is done, so the Marines are doing real damage here. He got one! And make that. Oh, come on. <laughs> Bring the mighty jumps! He, I thought he was gonna get two, but nope. Wow, Maru's actually microing this. Kills another Viking and jumps away. Oh my god. Kier. Kier. Alright. Kier has two star ports now. He's building Vikings. He might. It's not gonna be too hard to have better upgrades than Maru, because Maru has lost four armories. He's building a fifth one. He's kind of locked down at plus one ship weapons, plus two plating. But Gear is supply blocked from losing command centers. He still has a massive supply lead. Okay, it's not massive anymore. It is significant. It's fun sized. No. But it is a supply lead. But that supply is mostly in Marines and Marauders. Well, more scans revealing it. There's really no point in sitting around and waiting at 200 supply here for, for Cure. Well, the battle cruisers can jump back home if they need to. And they may very well need to. He's just rolling in with a bio. There's only three or four tanks, which sounds like a lot. But the tide of Cure is rolling in. There's tanks on either side, though. He's taking big bites. Maru retargeted onto the Marines. The battle cruisers are effectively base trading. All right, well, here we go. Here, the SCVs are being slaughtered here. The, the, more armories will die. I, <laughs> uh, Maru losing an entire series of armories in a single game. A command center down, Maru down to 92 supply. Well, the army size, the entire game. Well. Oh my god. Do not load up into those medevacs. What is wrong with you? A strong uh, uh, undercurrent could take those medevacs out. They have one quarter medevac of HP between them. Cure is on the run. The battle cruisers can jump back at any time. They can pick their fight here, is the problem here for Cure. He's down to 15 SCVs. He, it looks like he's trying to outright eliminate Maru. But unfortunately, Terran buildings can fly. Maru already has a barracks sitting in the corner. He understands the assignment here. The assignment is let Cure get himself killed. There's still plenty of Marines out there. How many kills do these battle cruisers have? 43, 29, 41. Oh my god. There's four siege tanks left over. He managed to consolidate near his planetary. Cure, like, at some point, he's running out of real estate back home. The starports are gonna get found. His last mining base. He's just gonna go. And here we go. Four siege tanks. The boys are pulled as everything is on the line. The battle cruisers jump home. He's got the Vikings, but there's still a planetary. Lines up a volley of Yamato cannons. And the Viking, GG, Cure. Dropping below Maru in supply for the first time in like 20, near 20 minutes. The game was only 21 minutes, but 200 Marines, 100. Maru lost 126 SCVs, but only two battle cruisers. The entire game. So, Kier tried to play around them, fly past them, run under them, but at the end of the day, the battle cruisers were far too much. Well, he tried. Oh God, 
That was the mo one of the most people's tearing games I've ever seen out of Cure. It's like, well, I could try to also build battle cruisers, but he's kind of picked that. I can build enough marines. It'll be enough. And don't lie to me, my diamond Terran friends. You know you've done that before. You know you've done that possibly yesterday. That is the most common thing. But we go into game number two. As a cure, may have to go back to the barracks and contemplate. So, in case you're wondering, and we've seen this with Maru versus Gumiho, this sort of style. Uh, in fact, I think we can credit Gumiho with this style because Gumiho is the first person, at least recently, um, who's who's shown the mass battle cruiser, the just aggressive turtle mech, like the the porcupine mech. Where, you know, you're, you're dangerous to anyone who attacks, but also you don't move very fast. Either way. But I'm, I'm going to go ahead and throw credit at Gumiho there. Because he used it against Maru. <sighs> Sometimes, the, the meta has not shifted. I, the, we've, we've messed around with the Cyclones. Yes, the Cyclones. But when we get past that phase of the game, um, TVT has been pretty uh, consistent for the last several years. Now, what does the actual super endgame look like if both players go for that style? Ravens. Ravens is the answer. Not necessarily mass raven, but enough ravens to use uh, anti-armor missile, maybe some interference matrices, but adding in three or four ravens to really mix things up, or potentially so ravens can disable the battle cruisers outright. So, uh, unfortunately, here... Uh, maybe another hundred marines. Uh, those battle cruisers have a kill, three sec kill limit. If you go over it, they'll shut down. But, sir, I don't think that's true. Shh. That's enough. <laughs> First the armories, and now the now questioning my orders. Well, um, here we go. And the medevacs. All right. Uh, I guess what? Neither player will. Neither player felt like they wanted to commit. So the medevacs literally fly past each other, giving them the side eye here. Here with a cyclone drop. Maru, on the other hand, uh, with a, a mixed bag. He's got a widow mine in there. He's got a couple Reapers, he's got a he just literally threw everything in. On the thrift shop medevac here. Widow mine connects, drags it out with a marine. And uh, the cyclone moving to intercept. The Reaper. Oh my god, he healed it at the last second, Maru. And here comes Kier, and here comes Bo. Oh, looks like we're gonna have it out in the center of the map. Both players just boxing it up and sending it out. Maru. No. Oh. What is the unit count? Two tanks to one in favor of Kier. Kier went back home. Maru? Doesn't actually have... Well, okay. Never mind. He's back. It's just one cyclone. Oh my god. The mule. Has Maru lost a unit? An SCV. I guess Kier's only lost one SCV and one Marine too. It feels like a lot more damage was done, but it was mostly emotional. Like and subscribe. Alright. Cyclone drop. Medivac. Oh my god, he repaired the medivac. Widow mine. Slams directly into the siege tank, scouting it in the most dramatic fashion. Maru's building a third base on location here. Kira doesn't even have a third command center on the way. He's got another starport in production, but this fight is going to be quite relevant. Maru does have interference matrices to potentially lock down the siege tanks. Gear doesn't want to overstay his welcome. Gonna siege up those tanks. Ah, uh, scan there, but scrambles two tanks. Gonna clear out the third. And the Vikings trying to help out here. But Maru keeps most of those ravens alive. Hmm. Bit of a half-hearted fight out of here.
three liberators are on the way. He's trying to uh, speed run in the Sky Terran here. Got that tank on the low ground, uh, using it as a staging area. Maru gonna mine through the mineral wall with a mule in order to get here quicker. Though it didn't really work out. Here come the Liberators. Backing off. Viking could maybe snipe off the medevac. Liberators trying to intercept a cure. Has the unit count. Now he has the Liberators with it. There's only one siege tank here. So that is the major concern. Neither side has stim. In fact, the only upgrade is interference matrix on Maru. Oh. One tank will siege. Scrambles it. Two auto turrets. Vikings hit the deck. Unsieged tanks. Targeting the Liberator. Maru clears the field and takes the game. Uh, and it just kind of ends. Uh, all right. Well. Cure overstayed his welcome. He tried to pull off a Maru-style build of, um just showing up and throwing everything at him and in fact he was trying to do some sort of liberator viking push which i think if you can use that that high ground or that cliff that is usually made for reapers but that little cliff there might be a thing but maru just backhanded him off the map and with a third base already done in a superior army i don't think that's a particularly early tap out there for cure so match point Already, for the best Terran in Korea and arguably the world, um, here. <sighs> well, Maru has been a continuing stopping block for him, in especially GSL, but just in general. TVT is a technical matchup, and Maru, uh, sir, yeah. Can we, can we start that sentence again? I don't... I think I would to say, like, a technical mastermind or, or some sort of, like, architect or something. But what came out was... Bleh. And those are my thoughts on TV. T no. No. In fact... Well, the problem with watching Molly is, at least for me, as an arguable player myself, you can't really steal Maru's strategies. You can't take his builds and apply them to your games. Because so much of what he does relies on being Maru. And that means relying on micro relying on that medevac to be microed so perfectly that you get the extra damage done. You can't usually get away with just sending a medevac full of units at your opponent and just hoping for the best. Because Maru doesn't hope, he knows. But on paper, that's a really dumb idea. So much can go wrong. But Maru's micro makes it go right. Whereas Kira... Kira is probably one of the best. Despite the fact that he's clearly struggling here against Maru. Despite the fact that... Um, like, there's a single-digit number of players who can make Kira... Um, who are favored against Kira. Who's in the top ten players. But I guarantee you, Cure dominates the ladder. As his style of play is so consistent. It screams to me someone who is practicing all the time and playing like dozens of ladder games a day. It's not particularly, uh, it doesn't seem as tailored to Maru as it is to just very solid mechanical play. We. Who put that there? It's a little GG back there. Somebody used a spray in a pro game. Instantly banned. Look, we've already seen a GG. I'm not sure if that was from... Did he SCV scout? No. Maru already... Maru already put a GG back there. But why? And I didn't even know you could put the sprays on the mineral patch. Or like below the bit. Whatever that is. Interesting. All right. One, one, one. Done for both sides. Maru has some units. He has a medevac. And now it's time to attack. Here we go. Load him up. 
He's got a tank in there, of course. Um, Reaper Hellion at the front. Trying to drag it slightly out of position. Gonna jam that tank into that little lip of a corner over the trees there. Start slamming into things. Is the tank in range? Oh my god. Yeah, that tank had little toes there. Those toes were sticking out. Then it would hit them. But thankfully, tanks don't have any toes. If you do want toes, check out my drone leaf fans. Like and subscribe. <clears throat> now the orbital. Really? We're going to take down the uh, unbuildable plates right now? Sure. Kind of a stressful timing to do so. Uses that medevac for high ground vision. Kira's already got a tank sieged up. Maru's waiting to siege up his own tank. Until... That's a little late. Actually, he scrambles it. Kira will be able to take it out. But the Viking Micro knocks out a Raven. And saves the Viking. So not all lost there. Raven, same price as a tank. So well, a little bit more expensive, actually. 25 gas, though. And, well, there's, uh, there's still some space in the main that isn't covered by siege tanks. So Mbaru is taking full advantage of it. Cures, uh, sandbag depots here, serving their purpose, but... Mbaru sees the cyclone, picks up, gets out. Cures actually uh, been a little supply blocked by that. At the natural, only one siege tank for Cure. Scan. He's in range of the refineries of the command center. Vikings patrolling. And oh, loses one. But Maru, behind this, he's building a third command center on location. Cure has his, but it's in uh, it's on the high ground. So it's going to take a while to come down and uh, be available. Ah, damn. Cure, you didn't seed your tanks. Cure! You can't waste any amount of time against Maru. He's actually going to chase it down. Whose base is it anyways? Maru sees an opportunity and he pounces immediately. The tanks are scrambled here, but there's no siege tank from from, Mar from Cure to really take advantage of it. Looks like he will take them out with the help of an auto turret. And Maru actually down on supply here. He's lost three tanks to two. He does have to be a little careful about overstaying his welcome. As Gear has still been built. Okay, at some point. Like, he doesn't even care he's under a scan. Really? Hey, go, go, just, sir. This is private property. Maru is literally just rallying units across the map. He, they show up and he's like, hmm, I wonder how I can use this. Waiting. It, it feels like. He's so confident that he can out-micro Cure. He's going to... Oh, my God. Cure's had enough. He just leaves. Okay. And then Cure, come back! That's your base! Cure! Cure, where are you? Cure just leaves. The Vikings on deck are actually killing the... They do extra damage to Mechanical, which includes all Terran buildings. The Liberators, a Venn diagram of freedom on the ramp. The Vikings in the air. He lifts the orbital and pulls the SCVs. And Cure. Actually, that was quite a cleanup there. Did he save the starport? No, he lost the starport, but... Well, it wasn't good for Cure. And every Raven he loses it exacerbates it, but... Honestly, a solid cleanup. And, oh my. Oh no. Fusion core. Here we go again. Maru doesn't even have the space right next to the GG spray, I might add. Did he know? At least he planned on it. I think uh, he planned on going for the mech this game if he had any opportunity. For the battle cruisers directly, I'm not... Maru! Maru! Well, he's gonna take out the Ravens, but he loses the tanks. This may have finally been something resembling an overextension from Mario. He does have a battle cruiser on the way, but he loses two more tanks. He's only got three in total, and he's gonna lose a lot more Vikings on the way. Picks off a Raven, but three, four, five. Great stutter step out of Cure. 
to finish him off. And now, Maru, well, he still has a supply lead. Remember, on the other side of the map, he's been entirely untouched. Kira has not been able to do any sort of counter damage. He hasn't killed any SCVs. He hasn't delayed any command centers. In fact, Maru's just taken a fourth. So even though Kira is able to clean all this up and Maru lost a lot of his units, he's able to replace them by the time that Kira comes across the map. 120 to 120 supply. Kira has... Si he's found a genius strategy for negating Maru's Vikings, which is losing all your starport units and your starport and not having any. Um, now Maru's Vikings can't kill any of his air units. Which is, um, pretty forward thinking here by Kier. He has rebuilt the starport. He's working on the medevacs back at home. Maru's engineering bay out there to get his sensor towers. A scan does not spot the fusion core, but he does spot the tech lab starports. The battle cruiser, I don't think, is going to be hot. Siege tanks in range of the planetary fortress, though. Planetary fortress clearly out of range of them. Metal cruiser coming down to help deal with it. Almost so close to actually killing the planetary, despite the repair. He's got the marines. Oh no, here we go again. He doesn't really have the weapons upgrades, but Maru doesn't have the plating. That armor for the battle cruisers is massive. They already have a bunch of base armor. They can almost negate the damage of the marines outright when they have the armor upgrades. The minimum damage you can do in StarCraft 2 is 0.5 um and it adds up every two hits just adds up to one um, even though it's not reflected on the little health counter because there are only a few scenarios where that's relevant which is mostly workers fighting things in the late game and marines shooting at battle cruisers or ultralisks i guess zerglings fighting ultras and stuff like that but um that is uh quite quite rare <laughs> i think splash damage is also affected by it uh, in some ways, especially when armor is applied. But we don't play on paper. So Maru has a turret ring set up to deal with exactly what Kira's thinking about doing. He boosts the medevacs, sees the turrets, turns around. Well, here on Ghost River, there are only six bases on each side. Um, it is the least bases of any map by a large margin. Yamato cannon on the way. Cure building mass Viking. All right. So this time around, he is going to head for the Vikings and try to match Maru in the skies. Which, since he already has four going on five bases. What are the upgrades? Uh, Kira's working on his ship weapons and getting a second armory. Technically, Vikings can outmaneuver the battle cruisers. They have slightly more range, and you can kind of just stutter step them back. Of course, Yamato Cannon does a lot to change that equation. One-shotting Vikings from pretty much infinite, well, not infinite range once you target it, but uh, if they're able to cast Yamato Cannon, at a Viking. It will hit, no matter how fast the Viking runs away. Or flies. Or waddles on the ground. I guess, like we saw before, maybe you could dodge it with the medevac. But moving up. Not relevant. The fleets. Maru has 23, or Maru has 16 Vikings and 5 battle cruisers. To 23 Vikings and 29 Marines. The upgrades are going to be hugely important. Marines ragdolled away. The map, the mini map, is getting cut in half. As both sides. Well, the battle cruisers are headed for the natural. Well, the Vikings and siege tanks, which do not have tactical jump from Gear, are, are working their way through. Marines are taking out the turrets, and without the siege tanks, there's nothing to match them directly. Three command centers on the way for Gear. Battle cruiser's just strafing through. Yamato knocks out a single Viking, but wait, there's more. He jumps away. Oh my god. Run! 
Ah! Uh, well, at least he knows where they jump to. Battle cruisers jump back home before the Vikings can close the distance. But Kier, he loses 23 SCVs, but he still has 74, so plenty to deal with all this. And now, well, the size of these fleets. 34 Vikings for Kier. Maru has one Raven, seven battle cruisers, and 27 Vikings. But that one Raven is probably the most important unit on the field right now. They're almost effectively impossible to individually target the Raven in that Viking flower. That Viking battle cruiser flower. Unless it gets caught in the center there. Looks like Maru just incrementing him out. Empty armor missile. He loses the Raven, but softens up. Yamato cannons don't care about how Dorito dusted you are, but an entire broadside is able to take out five or six Vikings. Working on the turrets. The battle cruiser shrugging him off. There's no high sec auto tracking. The Vikings, though, enough to one shot cruisers with a single fuselage. And now the battle cruisers are forced to retreat as Cure's Viking count is so damn high. Oh my. The exchanges continue. More battle cruisers on the way. Here, dueling. Two more starports in production. Three battle cruisers building armor for Maru. He's he's prioritizing the plating upgrades for the battle cruisers. Here is working on plus three ship weapons, plus two plating. The siege tanks moving forward. Battle cruisers. Working their way through. Take out the sensor tower. Yamato cannon should be coming off cooldown momentarily. And ideally, you just fight every time that Yamato comes off cooldown. Work your way forward slowly but surely. More battle cruisers on the way. Maru is putting it together a forward turret push beneath this. The Viking Raven Flower. There are now Ravens on both sides. He anti-armor missile gonna hit absolutely everything across the board. The Dorito dusting will continue. And at maximum damage from both sides. It's very hard to tell exactly what's happening under here. As with the anti-armor missile and just the sheer amount of units. Oh my. Blast away at it. Thor's for Maru as well. Giving him some range support. An interesting choice. As Kira's just full on mass Viking. He's going back to Marine Marauder here. Hasn't even attempted the battle cruisers, but kiting back with the Vikings. Some Marines underneath are gonna help out a lot. Maru's forced back. Gets another cruiser. Just so much damage output. Meanwhile, uh, ship weapons level three about to complete. More Vikings coming up. It looks like Cure is actually holding here. The battles continue. Cure trying to go back to Marines. Maru. Well. The Marauders will help out against the tanks. And just the turrets in general. He's got to be careful not to get too caught up on them. Doors are here. Here has a lot of minerals and not much gas, so that does kind of explain the choice to rebuild Marines. There's only so many bases on the map. Maru? 
has managed to lose 1,000 less minerals or so. But he's lost 1,000 more gas, as essentially every unit he's built past the early game does cost gas. The Viking battlecruiser composition, 22 Vikings, 2 Thors, 4 battlecruisers. Here has complemented his army. Oh, you model cannons! Take apart a planetary. We have SCVs chasing down a siege tank, which seems a bit optimistic. That's a lot of ravens here. Scrambles one of the battle cruisers. Here, flying in towards the missile turrets, which... Ooh. The bio army still working its way through. Three more battle cruisers on the way. But the marines are no match. Feel like we learned this lesson already. Here's making more and more marines. He continues complimenting the viking camp. But three more battle cruisers in production. Maru has lost 10 cruisers. 52 to 38 Vikings down as well. God. The scans on either side, just a constant fixture. Map hacks with extra steps here. Uh, Kira has seven orbitals. Maru has five. So we can't. Five orbitals is about the limit where you can scan. I like, have a 100% scan uptime. Of course, if you ever want to scan more than once or drop mules or something, you do have to lay off it a bit. More battle cruisers on the way. Maru has... He's challenging this base in the center, but he's essentially uh, given here his half the map and is relying on the sheer cost-effectiveness of this unit composition in order to... Hmm carry him through. The Thors, the Vikings, the battle cruisers, the box art units here. Maru chasing down. And the bio army gonna try to catch the Thors. May get one. Another one on the ground here. The Marauders have nothing else to shoot at, so easy enough to target. The Vikings, Dorito dusted. More anti-armor missiles are coming in. Scrambles a lot of the battle cruisers. Locks them down. The Vikings are cutting back. The battle cruisers, it's almost impossible to tell exactly what's going on down there. But Cure is absolutely obliterated in the fight. He thought he had enough, but the battle cruisers were not taken out. In the tactical dunk, he jumps forward to chase. Cure is scrambling, but he's down 50 supply. It looked like he had the fight. What is happening over here? Ah, yes, of course, SCV's fighting in orbital. Somehow the orbital's winning. But does he have anything to stop the battle cruisers? The Marauders, once again, proving that they're not the greatest anti air option. And, well. Maru with a decisive 3 0. And it's a bit costlier in this game, but at the end of the day, Cure thought he was cruising, but instead received a bruising. Maru with a decisive 3-0 victory, showing the Porcupine Terran, the mass battle cruiser style, the iconic Bronze League Heroes units making a cameo appearance with the best of the best. Well, hopefully that made your day a little bit better. If you got the means of motivation, it'd be awesome to check out Patreon or, or YouTube membership. But I hear liking and subscribing is still free for now. Thank you for watching. If you haven't yet checked out the second channel for streams, if you have more hours in the day, um, then well, it'd be awesome to check out in the description. Winter Gaming TV. Otherwise, check out Recommended or find a cast you like. Let me know more mirror matchups. I mean, this is a bit of a highlight, but... Either way, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Good luck, have fun. Stay tuned.